Hey everybody, it's Bruce the Gig Farmer here with a new video on how to tune the five string banjo in five easy steps because there are five strings. Okay, let's start by uh, talking about your tuners. You might have something like this, a snark. Nobody knew what these were 20 years ago, but now they're everywhere. I clip mine to where the face is showing behind the headstock. If you put it on the front, that's okay. Just make sure it's right side up <clears throat> so you know you're flat from your sharp. Now, you may also have one on your phone, something like this. And we can see my first string, which is D. The first string is the lowest string to the ground. Think of your strings as floors in a building. First floor, second floor, third floor, fourth floor, fifth floor. The first string is the lowest string to the ground, even though it's not the lowest pitch. Now this will never do because it's in tune. Absolutely horrifying. Now we can tune it because it's out of tune. Now, if you look at this, you'll see that it is indeed way flat. It's saying D3. Don't worry about the number. That's just the octave. But look at the D when it shows to the left of the screen there, left of middle, I should say. That means you're flat or low. So what I'm going to do is, I wonder if I can, no, I can't. I wonder if I could uh, hold it up to the screen and tune at the same time, but I only have two hands. So you're going to take this tuner, and if you tune, turn it one way, it goes down. Turn it the other way, it goes up. If it's stringed properly, it will turn counterclockwise, will tighten it, okay, on these two. Okay, so I, I tune it up until the meter is right in the middle. Where'd it go? sharp but it's reading green on this particular tuner you can see the dots up on top it moves to the right if it's sharp now here's a little trick if it's just a little bit sharp sometimes you can take your string and just pull on it see if that did anything pretty good it got a little closer pull on it Larder, don't pull too hard, but you can you can lift up the string an inch. There we go, we got that one perfect. Let's go to the next one. That was a D. We're gonna go to the B second string. Also very flat. So wait a minute, I've got an idea here. It's not quite in the picture though. Ooh. So I'm looking at my snark while well, you can look at my phone tuner. You can find these online for free. This happens to be with a little app called Guitar Toolkit, which is good, but you don't need that much. It has a lot of other instruments and tunings and things. So I just turned it up. Let's see what it's doing here. You have to let it ring a little bit. You see, when it first starts, it jumps around some, but then it settles down. Let's go to the third string G. Yeah, that's better. See how it's way over to the right? The little digital meter is pegged to the right. It's way too sharp. So this time I'm gonna to have to bring the tuner down. Now on these two tuning machines, if I bring it, if I turn them counterclockwise, it's the reverse of these two. It actually brings them down. So that can be a little bit confusing. So I just fool around until 
I get it pretty close. And you can see it doesn't have to be, uh, it, it won't stay there in the green the whole time, but it's green more than it's any other color. Let's go to the fourth string D. Again, this is looking, it's pegged out to the, the right, so it's quite a bit sharp. So now I'm going to turn it counterclockwise on this particular tuning machine. And listen for it as you turn it, just pluck it, let it, let it ring for a second or two. Make sure you're moving in the right direction. And then when you get there, it's interesting. They don't always line up. The snark says it's in tune. This app says it's a little bit sharp still. What do we do when it's a little bit sharp? I like to give it the pull. Let's pull it a little bit. Stretch it and see what that does. Pretty good. Might have gone a little too flat, actually. These are older strings, by the way. If you have new strings, they tune easier. That should be good enough. And finally, the fifth string, G. Just a little bit sharp, right? It's a little bit to the right there. So this one, I took it down. Uh, some people think that it's better to go lower or flat and then tune up to the pitch. That's not a bad idea because you get less of uh, the string stretching when you play it that way. So my snark is also saying it's a little bit flat. I'm just going to give it a hair. And there you have it. It's not a bad idea if you're way out of tune to go back and check your strings again. Because if you've turned the uh, strings, if you've tensioned the strings quite a bit, you've actually changed the uh, tension on the neck. So your initial strings that you tune might be out of tune. I'm going to check mine again. I got a pretty good D on the snark. How's it looking on there? Close enough for bluegrass? Now this B went a little sharp. I don't like a sharp B. Nobody does. I'm going to pull on a little bit. If that doesn't work, I'll just tune it. It worked. Too much. Went flat. G went a little sharp. I'm just going to pull on a little bit. Too much. Went flat. see the very top of that. <laughs> it's a little sharp again. I'll pull it again. A little flat. So you see just a little tug on the string can really change, especially on banjo strings and especially when they're old. That's it for now. Uh, tune in for another uh, tutorial, and uh, maybe we'll tune a guitar on the next one. Good luck with it. Hope you enjoyed it. Please hit like, subscribe. See you next time.